So if you pull this up, you'll hear it beat. Listen, I already just killed it. I've got a helpful tip that I'm gonna show you on this Kubota mini excavator. I'm gonna track up here and uh, park. As soon as I get parked, I'm all, I'll tell you what it is. I had an old guy from the UK. I'll look his name back up here in just a minute. He actually figured out how to do this, how to cheat it on the auxiliary on the Kubotas. Every time you want to arm the auxiliary out there, which uh, everything I run, I'm running the auxiliary on. If you pull this up, it resets the aux. So like right now, aux is on. When you pull that up, it kills it. And you got to rearm it every time. I'm going to show you a quick little cheat to beat that. Let me get up here. I got a little park this machine over here and I'll show you how to If you pull this up, you'll hear it beat. Listen, I already just killed it. When you put it back down, you gotta rearm it to make it work or it will not work. I've been in binds on this thing two or three times because of that. It's, it's, Kubota needs to change that. That's one of my biggest beefs about this machine. Love it to death, but I can't stand that. If you pull that up, it the aux should stay armed. All right, you can beat it by doing this right here. Arm it. It's hot out there now. Go over here, hit your menu, log record, hit enter right here. And all right, it puts you on your calendar what the log record is. It keeps up with how many hours you run each day. So you can see the days on it blacked in. I can look at each one of them days on there and I can tell you exactly how many hours I ran on it. But here's the beauty thing. If you leave it on that screen, watch this. Pick it up. It's, see, it's still on, say watch, now watch. Say look. But you gotta leave it on that screen. If you take it off of this screen and you pick it up, it kills it. So you just put it right there. So if I'm gonna be on it a good bit, just do this, log record, bam. Watch, you can pick this up. It don't be batchy. Put it back down, it still works. Look at that. Like I said, I'll look his name back up real quick. He said he was just messing with his the other day. He watches my videos and he was like, I, I got it. He said, I, I figured something out. And that's what it is. It stays, stays on. So it's pretty cool. So like, uh, you can look like today is the 23rd. All right, if I want to look and see what, see what I did on the 23rd. Let's see here. How many hours I ran today. 23rd ran uh 2.2 hours see right there it is it shows the times that i ran and ran it right there so uh i hope that helps people out maybe i know it's gonna help me out because i can i can pull this thing up now and leave that thing on and it'll stay on if i had to jump back on the machine real quick i can roll with it and uh That'll be pretty handy. So uh, if that helped you out, and I've got another thing too. If that helped you out, let me know down below in the comments. I've got another thing too that I'm going to show on how to hook these hoses up on the aux to where you have no pressure on it. You never have any pressure on it. That is a That was a big beef on it too. And I finally figured that mess out, how to get all the pressure off of those uh off of those hoses those aux hoses where you can connect them up because man I, there were times where i was having to break the lines loose let some pressure off of it and i'll show you a foolproof way in another video of how to do that once i get this thing back home and and uh be pretty helpful so there you go so the guy's name that tipped me off on that his name is greg o'brien and he's from the uh, uk 
<laughs> I appreciate that so much, Greg. So he said he was trying to figure out how to turn his service reminder off on the Kubota. I went back and read his message to kind of refresh my memory on what he was doing. And so uh, <clears throat> a little helpful tip on the service reminder. I think it's every so many hours, uh, 300 or maybe 500 hours or something like that, the Kubota goes into like a service reminder mode. And you think you've got something going on with the machine. It'll start flashing the yellow triangle beacon at you. So to turn that off, what you do is you turn the machine off and you you cycle the key to on, back to off like 10 times without cranking the machine. And it will clear that code out for you. Like I said, just cycle it uh, back and forth. I think it's 10 times. Pretty sure that's what it is. I've had to do mine two or three times. The first time it did it, I thought I was having something go wrong with the machine. And I uh, looked in my manual and that's what uh, what it told me to do. And that's what it did and cleared it. I think mine's done it twice since I've had it. Or maybe three times, I don't know. I've got almost 1300 hours on mine now. And, but uh, we're getting a little bit of rain. I'm kind of held up here at the house right now. It's early this morning and uh, just kind of waiting on a call. It's, I just felt the drop hit me right quick. I've been doing some uh, covert stuff this week that I uh, couldn't film. I'm gonna show you here in the next day or so, cause I'm gonna kind of wrap this thing up today that I've been working on. And in a roundabout way, I'm gonna kind of show you what I have been up to. It's uh, pretty darn cool. Matter of fact, I have, I have bought something and it's gonna interest quite a few of y'all that what I have got no, it's not another mini excavator or a heavy piece of equipment or anything like that, but uh, nonetheless, it is going to be slick. So, uh, and it's supposed to pick it up today, and so we'll see how that goes. But anyhow, again, appreciate you, Greg, reaching out to me with that right there. Like I said, you gotta keep it on the calendar screen for it to keep working which is fine, at least that's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Because when you're doing tree work and I'm doing it by myself and I'm on and off the machine, uh, that is very, very aggravating. So at least there is a way somewhat around that deal right there. And uh, the auxiliary hydraulic lines, if you have messed with them, like I said, I'll show you how to do that in another video. I may film it this next week. Uh, that can be very aggravating too, but I have finally, well, I guess probably about six months ago, I figured that deal out and I've, every time I swap attachments, I've just made sure that what I figured out has stayed true and it has, so I'm ready to, uh, to share that. So y'all have a great day. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.